Hi, this is Sean again with an update on the 2.6 gallon Pico saltwater tank, saltwater reef, soon to be. And the situation right now is it's day seven. And what I'm going to be doing today is another reconfiguration of the live rock. I went out to one of the LFSs in the area and got some more pieces of live rock to match the, the tall piece there. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two pieces out, do some reconfiguration and I'm going to go ahead and take care of a water change at the same time. So I've already taken out uh, 32 ounces of water from the tank and put it here in just a, a glad container. And I will be moving the, the two pieces of live rock into said container along with the creatures right now. And um, one of the things I noticed is that my gravity is kind of off the chain um, because I have been refilling with salt water and I was speaking with um, a lady at the LFS today and apparently I've been increasing the salinity of the water unknowingly. So this is very important to point out to those of you doing Pico tanks that uh, um, salinity will go up with um, adding salt water to top off the evaporation because what happens is the salt remains and by adding more salt water you're just adding salt and hence increasing your gravity so I learned something new today and going forward I will be topping off with RO water um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go ahead and um, take the the creatures out for the most part. I'll probably leave the Nasario snail in. Actually, I may take him out because I'm going to go ahead and remove some of the sand too because I want to add in a little bit more live rock than what's there, I believe. Uh, I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm going to play around with it. So just to get the, the creatures out of the way right now, I'm just going to remove them. You can see the yellow-bodied coral band shrimp and uh, the clown goby and the blue damsel. The blue damsel is in here for uh, food eating purposes. But um, once this tank is cycled uh, to my satisfaction, he will be moved um, back to either my 10 gallon or into my 125 gallon. So um, you can see here, the parameters, these samples I took last night, and um, pH is still good. Ammonia is still ooh, probably a little bit higher than zero, probably 0 0.25. And we have zero nitrite and a very high nitrate level, which is due to the biospire uh, cycle. So uh, we're going to kill a couple birds with one stone and hopefully not kill any fish in the process. So I will um, film another video once everything is taken care of. So uh, thank you for watching my video and stay posted.